Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about self-love. Grab your notebooks, grab some water, and let's get started. Self-love is all about building a relationship with yourself. And I know it's trendy right now, it's just like going around. Love yourself, be alone, um, take yourself out, whatever. It's like all over our face, but do we truly understand how we can love ourselves? When I watch those videos, okay, they help me for a second, but then I forget about them and then I just never do it. But today I'm going to dive deep into this topic, how you can build a relationship with yourself on all levels, basically. I'm going to be honest, I'm still a work in progress and I feel like this self-love journey is never ending, is a never ending cycle. So don't rush it when, when you're not there yet or you didn't even start doing it yet. We're all just trying to figure it out. But I have my notebook here and I have um, written down all of my bullet points that I'm going to go through with you. So let's get started. The concept of self-love is basically having a relationship with yourself. I feel like it's very important to point out you need to love yourself unconditionally because you're going to be with you until the day you die and after that. So you better start learning how to treat and respect and love yourself unconditionally. First off, we're gonna work on our mindset. I need you to identify your values and needs and then you fulfill them. Your values could be, I like to be respected, I like to be heard out, I like to be trusted, I like to be taken serious. Do all of that with yourself. Whatever you would expect from any other person, do that with yourself first. Because if you don't do it with yourself, no one is going to do that for you. You need to start loving yourself and fulfilling your needs first. Your needs come first, always. The second tip is, I feel like I have like 20 tips on here, but the second one is set boundaries. When I hear that, when I heard that, I always got annoyed because I didn't know my boundaries. I feel like that doesn't get taught, so we need to learn by ourselves what our boundaries are to set them. If we don't know where to, you know, put the line, we can't set our boundaries, because where? How far can someone go? How far would you go with yourself? So. Figure out your boundaries and set them. Set them with other people and most importantly, set them with yourself. Set them with yourself. Your boundaries, you can't cross them. You don't get a golden ticket to cross your own boundaries. No, you're gonna respect your boundaries just like you want others to respect your boundaries. I'm definitely going into the topics boundaries in another video because it's very, very important to me and I feel like I could dive into that a lot more, but today we're only talking about self-love, so I'm just gonna leave that for, for another time. The third tip is don't abuse yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. Don't abuse yourself. Abuse could look like I'm too bad, I can't do this, I don't feel like going to the gym today, it's not gonna work anyways, I don't deserve a good meal, I don't deserve money, I don't deserve good people in my life. That is abuse. Stop abusing yourself, stop killing yourself mentally. I feel like that comes together with the next step I have on here. Change your negative self-talk into positive self-talk. You deserve to hear nice words, okay? You deserve being good. You deserve money. You don't deserve being treated bad. You don't deserve being hated on. You don't deserve negative comments. You don't deserve abuse. You don't deserve it. You are good enough. You are better, you are the smartest, you are pretty, you have the nicest body, you have everything. Okay, start talking to yourself like this and watch it unfold. Even if you don't agree with the points I just said, watch it unfold. Once you have that positive self-talk and you believe that stuff that you're saying, watch it come to you. If you start talking to yourself and believing those things that you want in the positivity, you will get those things. And that's not just some 
magic woo woo that's that's the law of assumption that's the law of attraction and assumption be careful what you say there be careful what you say because that's what's going to happen the fourth tip is identify your thought patterns what thought patterns like keep reoccurring in your mind what do you think about all the time just just put your awareness into what you're thinking so you can actually like work on it you know if it's positive or negative you'll know at the end but be more aware of what you're thinking about because all of that is as i said recreating in your reality when you know your thought patterns and when you change them that's also a type of work you can do for yourself now we come to a very helpful one the fifth step is think of someone you really really love someone you wouldn't you wouldn't exchange for a million euros. If you have someone in your mind, that's actually already a blessing. I need you to treat you just like you treat that person. Whenever that person comes to you and is like, oh my God, I made this dumb mistake. I, I was so stupid to do that. What do you do? Do you tell them, oh yeah, you're stupid. You shouldn't have done that. You're, you're dumb. Like sometimes we do because we need, we need a pep talk but we never mean it in a bad way. And we always encourage them and tell them it's okay. It was just a mistake. You'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be all right. It's not the end of the world. That's what we tell them, right? So why don't you do it with yourself? You, you're just human too. You, you're here for the first time too. You learn, you make experiences, you make mistakes, you, you grow as every second goes by. You grow to be the person you want and need to be in the future also that's where the unconditional love comes because um we wouldn't exchange anything for that person we love them so deeply when we look at them we just like we're just like in awe and we just love their their heart and their soul and and everything they they just like their energy and everything start loving yourself like that start looking at yourself the same way with the same eyes that you look at them look at yourself that way love yourself that way i always like was too hard on myself or just like not being good i was like if that was my friend that was thinking that and saying that how would i respond how would i help try to help them how would i build them up and that's how I started treating myself as well. Just like I love my friends, I love myself now. I also have like this notebook here where I have all of those things, what I would tell a person I love. I wanna read some out for you so you know what I'm talking about. I would tell their heart, protect your heart from evil people. There are a few. Listen to it, take it into consideration. Don't give it to anyone who doesn't deserve it. Keep it healthy, run, make sure to breathe. Do you realize how, how often we forget to breathe? Breathing is like such a passive thing that happens all the time, but when, when we consciously start breathing, our heart can calm down. And just like our heart sometimes is like this, and we don't even realize that. That's not healthy for us. We need to keep it healthy, breathe normally, slowly in and out it's not that deep what i would tell them about the brain and like the mind be rational make sure every step makes some sense don't be too hard on yourself celebrate progress connect it to body and spirit get smart learn as much as you can figure out ways to make money <laughs> affirmations Brain doesn't know what's real or not, train it in your favor. Learn skills, read books, be open for new ways of thinking. Listen to positive and uplifting music and podcasts. Be strategic, life is a game. Focus when you focus on one thing, one thing only. Master your own brain patterns, meditate, keep your space clean, do not have a cluttered mind. That's what I would tell anyone that I love to do with their brain. Intuition and gut feeling. Listen to it. It talks to you. Act when it says something. It's never wrong. Be risky. Life is to live. Connect it to your mind. 
leave, stay, say, be quiet when it says so. Do what it says, okay? Feel safe and comfortable. Don't be in places you don't feel comfortable in. Open up to the chakras to have a good flow. That, that can be a little controversial, but I feel like opening up my chakras helped me a little bit because I have like, I know a little bit more about my body. What I would tell their body, their vessel, take care of it in any way, eat healthy, exercise, go to the gym, do cardio, do yoga, do Pilates, like some sort of exercise. Take care of your skin, your eyes, your ears, your teeth, your hands, your feet, your legs, your hair, your nose, your organs, your lungs, your heart, your liver. Take care of it. I pointed out just everything, right? I was just like deep in my work and like everything that I thought about in the body, I just wrote it down. Seek a doctor if something is wrong. Read into herbal, herbal and natural medicine. Get rid of trauma in the body. It exists. I'm going to start to read a book that's called um, The Body Keeps Score. I heard a lot of good stuff and it talks about the trauma that that's being kept in the body basically and once I read it I can talk about it but now I don't know too much about it. Keep yourself young, healthy and fit. You only have one body. Take care of your immune system. Read into the ways to best take care of your body. Yeah, I think that's it. But yeah, so so that was everything I wrote down that I think I would tell a person that I love and it's very important. I feel like I covered a lot of the stuff that I have on here already, but I'm still gonna go through it and see see what else I have left here. I have some more. That was the whole love yourself like you love someone else and the, those were examples how you can do that. I think we're at six now. Listen to love songs and think of yourself. I feel like that's so empowering. Like open up your favorite love song and don't connect it to anybody don't just don't do that find a new love song if you have to but find a love song that you just sing to yourself it's just like a little pep talk what do you mean like i'm i'm amazing and you will never let me go and you know it's just like <laughs> hearing that and talking to yourself like that I, I sometimes i go in front of the mirror and i'm like I'm just singing to myself. It, it helps. I'm not gonna lie, it helped me. Seventh step, forgive yourself for hurting you. Take accountability for the abuse and change it. As I said, we abuse ourselves often unconsciously, like sometimes consciously it happens, but if it happened, forgive yourself. You, you can forgive any other person, right? You can forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself. In order to move on from something, it's important to be compassionate with the mistakes you made. If you never made those mistakes, you would never be the person that you are today. But don't, don't repeat it. Don't repeat it. Evolve from it. Grow from it. Just be, be, be a better like person to yourself. Treat yourself with more respect. Take accountability. No, just, just, just be a grown up. <laughs> take accountability. You hurt yourself. Okay, live with it. Live with it. You're not... What happened now? Okay, you could, I can never forgive myself. I hurt myself. I, I was so dumb to do that. Okay, like... Stay there if you want, but I am going to get to the next step. I am going to move on from this. I am going to be better. You need to take accountability for hurting yourself, for abusing yourself, to be able to get to the next step. Stop like drowning in your own sorrow. Stop being miserable. It's okay, like it, we're, we all did it. We all did it. You're not alone in this. We all hurt ourselves at some point, some different than others, but we all did it. We're all part of the problem, but are you brave enough to move on? Are you brave enough to take accountability? Because that's, that's the breaking point. That's the thing that most people can't do and that's why they stay stuck in their own miserable life that they built themselves. Everyone that's miserable doesn't want to change. If you want to change, 
you gotta take accountability, you gotta be okay with what you did, and you gotta be better the next time. Tip number eight is um, self-concept work. Point out the most beautiful things about your character. Like, what are they? Some people, it's like the question, oh, say your strengths and your weaknesses, and they never bring out their strengths because they're too humble, or they're too, too scared to look kind of arrogant, but like be arrogant. You, you are amazing. You are kind. You are smart. You are intelligent. You are good. You are kind. You are empathetic. You have amazing qualities. You have an amazing skill set. Just like point that out. That is, that's an amazing feature. And if you point out your amazing features, figure out what they are, that was just like examples, and you are ambitioned. Like, I love that one. I am very ambitioned. I love being ambitioned, and I love being smart, and I love being kind, and I love being loving, and I love being empathetic. I love that about me. I'm amazing, you know? <laughs> I love these things about me, and once you start, once you're able to be talking about yourself like that, you build that relationship more. You have like more of a vision of what you bring to the table. I don't bring anything to the table, by the way, but myself and that's all that. But that's another topic. Love yourself. Point out those features about you. Make them big because they're who you are. Whatever comes to your mind, whatever positive statement comes to your mind about you, say it own it, that's who you are, and that's who you're always gonna be. You're always gonna be good, you're always gonna be kind, you're always gonna be empathetic. You are that. Own it. That's the self-concept work I am also currently doing, but yeah. Number nine, I think, don't sell yourself short. Whenever, and this is, this is very important, whenever someone comes into your life and acts like you're not all that, cut them off. Cut them off immediately. You are all that. You don't even need that kind of energy that tells you that you're not. Who are you? You're some stranger that, that thinks that can talk to me like that. You are not that. You are not gonna come into my circle, my bubble that I built for myself saying all those kind of things to me, being this nice to me, and you're just, you're just gonna come in here and act like I don't deserve all this? Um, I think, I think you're at the wrong address. I think you need to go, go somewhere else because you're wrong here. You don't belong here. Honestly, just don't tolerate disrespect. Don't tolerate anyone that, that tries to tries to bring you down, dim your light. They're not worth it. You can only meet someone as deeply as they've met themselves. If, if they're saying all that, that's what they think about themselves. You don't, you don't go around and, and tell people that they should hate themselves and that they don't deserve success, do you? Because you don't, you don't feel like they deserve to hear that. Because you know you don't deserve to hear that. They're all around us. Beware, beware, and protect yourself. Protect yourself. Don't let anything slide. Don't close any eye. Protect yourself, love yourself, respect yourself, and cut them off. But also, I need to say, be open to criticism. Whenever someone comes at you and is like, oh, I think how you're doing this and that, um, I don't think it's a good way, maybe you could try this and that. Take the criticism, don't be offended by anything anyone says. We're all a work in progress, we can take criticism. Once you know it's like pure hate and a pure attack on you, that's when you can ignore. That's when you can like literally just just talk, talk your stuff uh, here and out. You know, don't even listen to that. When someone comes at you with, with feedback and with like genuine good intentions, take it. You know, we can all we can all learn from each other and we can all be more compassionate to each other. So if you block that out and be like, oh no, I'm gonna cut you off, you're not 
you're not worthy of being with me. No, don't be like that. That's being arrogant. You also need to be a little open-minded only when, when you know they're not disrespecting you. That brings me to my next point, actually. You're not better than anyone, but you're also not worse than anyone. You're not above anyone, but also not below anyone. Treat yourself like a normal human being. Don't get too crazy about this whole thing. Just, you're human and everyone else is human. Just treat yourself like a normal person. Be more selfish with your energy, with your power, of course. But also, don't try to bring anyone down because they're not like you. Because that's like contradictory to all the work you've done. Be compassionate with everyone. We're all just, you know, going through life for the first time. It's what it is, okay? Don't don't be too too over your head. You're not superior, but you're also not inferior. You are equal. We're all equal. And some people think they're superior, some people think they're inferior. Don't like identify with any of them. Just be normal. Be normal. <laughs> but I don't know how else to to describe being just equal. But yeah. I, th I think you got the point. I think I think you got me. The next, I think that's 10. Oh, I have exactly 10 for mindset. That's great. 10 is trust yourself. Trust yourself by listening to yourself. Trust yourself by doing what you say you're gonna do. Those are some small steps that you can do to like build more trust with yourself. Because if you're in a relationship with someone or in a friendship or family, Trust is a very, very, very big topic. I feel like trust is not equal to love, but like it's in love and, and it's a very, very big part. So build that trust by just listening to yourself. Whenever you have the feeling like, oh, I feel like I shouldn't be here, leave. Oh, I feel like that someone behind me is kind of creeping me out a little bit. Call your best friend. Do what's necessary to trust yourself, listen to yourself, and build, build that connection. And also, when you make a promise to yourself, you better keep it. You better keep it. When you say you're going to wake up at 7 in the morning, you better keep that promise. If you can't wake up, don't make that promise. If you cannot wake up early, don't make that promise to yourself. Why would you constantly turn yourself down why would you keep disappointing yourself that's so damaging and so harming to your self-trust stop doing that when you say something that you're gonna do do it i'm gonna start with the gym tomorrow go to the gym tomorrow what are you waiting for why do you make that promise if you don't want to keep it keep your promises and be true to yourself and trustworthy be reliable everything you say you do do it or don't say it simple it's not it's not that complex it's not it's not that hard to build that trust i've had um problems trusting my intuition because i was like oh i'm just living life oh it's nothing's gonna happen but always every single time my gut was right my intuition was right and i was wrong living life Stop! Just stop! Just listen to your gut feeling, listen to your intuition, and if it says something, you feel it, especially women, you feel it in your womb, you feel it in your gut, trust it, listen, and do what it says. I promise you're gonna regret it if you don't. You always regret it. It's You always regret it. It's no... It's no secret and a lot of women go through this once you like do small things that your gut says you like build it up more and more and more, and more. okay you were right that time i'm gonna trust you once more you were right this time i'm gonna trust you once more so just just build that up from the ground up don't you can't trust your gut feelings with the biggest things now because you never did it before like i didn't but when you like those small little things they always get bigger and and in the whole process, you know? And also, yeah, keep your promises. Just keep your promise. Okay, so now that we're done with the mindset part, I'm gonna get into the physical part of self-love. 
act that you can do? Gym, exercise, some sort of act activity. Move your body. Move your body. Start moving your body. Do some yoga, do some Pilates, do something. Your body's gonna thank you. It's gonna make you feel better. Every time I don't feel like going to the gym and I go to the gym, I come home with such a like uplifting feeling, such a positive feeling. So that's an act of self-love. You give yourself that good feeling and also that has something to do with the with the self-trust. You said you were going to the gym and you did it, period. Like, I, I did it and also now I'm feeling better. My body's looking good. And if you do that more often, I promise you're gonna get that dream body, that body tea body. I know it and you know it. But go, just start going and take your health seriously, especially um, when you're younger. That's what. That's the best time you can start, okay? That's That's the best time to start going to the gym and start doing some exercise. That's a luxury of life. Realize it, recognize it, act on it. Healthy nutrition. Buy real food. I'm not gonna lie, I like to order out, I like to go to restaurants, I like to sometimes buy some Maxi King or something, you know, some sweets. I do those things. But in the majority of time, I see that I have a healthy nutrition. I feel like in the past few weeks I didn't really look at that, but what I always do is have a good breakfast. I know it's expensive to have like nice breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's it's getting expensive. I know. I know. But um, breakfast is a very very good you don't have to pay a lot of money to buy the ingredients. What I always always love to make is yogurt with honey, oatmeal and some fruit and some granola. Like I mix that, it keeps me full for like four hours until I can have lunch and I also have like coffee in the morning so I don't get too hungry. Healthy nutrition is very important. Yeah, get yourself some good breakfast and if you have the time and, and the money for it, also cook yourself some, some nice dinners. Cooking for yourself is so is so like calming and when you make that place look nice, I know we, we'd love to do that for other people, but we need to do that for ourselves as well. We deserve we deserve a nice looking plate, a nice little dinner that we made for ourselves. Healthy, good dinner. I always love to make rice with uh, some broccoli and chicken or, or salmon. Those are like my go-to dinners. But I also love to try new things that I see on TikTok. Like, just choose your favorite meal, go to TikTok and put healthy next to it and, and recipe. You know, just just try some things out. People are really creative on this app. Really creative. Or, or ask ChatGPT for a healthier version of your favorite meal and make that, okay? That's how you can, you know, have a more healthy nutrition. And if you do that um, continuously, your body will start looking good by two weeks, I promise you. If you go to the gym regularly and eat good, I promise you, you will see a difference. I know two weeks sounds crazy and, and everyone says like, oh, no, 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 no. But if you actually do it, if you actually stick to the plan, and do it, I promise you, right now, right here, you're gonna see a difference. Because every time I don't eat good or don't go to the gym regularly, I see the difference. And every time I do it then, I see the difference again. So I'm speaking of personal experience and that's why I'm so, so sure of it. Body care and skin care. Take care of your skin, take care of your, of your body, of your whole body, be hygienic, go Take a shower every day, take care of your teeth, take care of everything. Be hygienic, Be take care of your body and your, your oral health, your ears, your hair, your, your skin, your face, just everything. Just take care of it, treat it well, um, see what other people do, copy them, just do the same thing, it doesn't matter. Just treat yourself and your body good, your skin mostly. Get your nails done, get your hair done, 
put makeup on, go take a massage, good, feel good, look good. Every time I look pretty, every time I do my makeup, every time I do my hair like this, for example, I feel so good. I feel like I own the world. I feel like anyone that comes across me is privileged to be even around me. You know, that's, that's how crazy I feel, but that's the truth. Like, if I... If I look like that, no one can tell me anything. You know, you can't you can't come come to me talking crazy. Who are you? Move. Like it sounds crazy, but it's actually very helpful. It's actually very helpful. Some some of you may may not agree and say it's like toxic or whatever, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. But also when I don't have makeup on, I don't be too hard on myself, but I I know the difference. I know how I feel when I don't have makeup on and I know how I feel when I have makeup on. Get your nails done, get, get your hair on fleek, your makeup pretty, you know, everything. I feel like we're at one, two, three, four, five, number five now. Fill out all of your love languages. I feel like we shouldn't have to choose between love languages. We deserve every love language. We deserve all the love. But we all have some favorites, I know. But I feel like we shouldn't settle for nothing. So we need to do that for ourselves. Words of affirmations, physical touch, cuddle yourself, okay? Just be like, oh, you're good. Pat yourself on the back if you had something. Like, it's kind of crazy, but try to give yourself that. Take yourself out. Make yourself feel special. Buy yourself some gifts, you know? Like all of the love languages that are there. Words of affirmations gift giving, quality time, yeah, take yourself out, physical touch, and acts of service, acts of service, right? Do all of them for yourself, you know, just try and find a way how you can do that for yourself and do it. Fill out all of the love language so when anyone comes around, not coming in correct, you can just them out because you give yourself all of the love languages that you need. Get your back. <laughs> that's that's a simple one but get your bag get your money go to work get your money up 99 of our problems comes because we don't we don't have any money let's be real okay once we get get the bag once we have some money that's how you can treat yourself that's you that's how you can buy yourself some love money for love is very very super superficial but it's also it's also a big part of it that we cannot just ignore. Get your money up, go to work, and treat yourself with nice things. Make the money first, of course. Don't get into debt. Don't do that. Don't be getting crazy, but just get the money up and spend it on yourself. Spend it on yourself before you spend it on anybody else. On anybody. You're first. Relax. The last one is relax. Just relax. Don't put any pressure on yourself, just chill, just everything is worked out anyways. We will get the life that we desire in the end. We will get it. You wouldn't have been given the vision. You would have not been given the vision if that dream wasn't gonna come true. And that's the only truth that you need to know. Relax, take a breath, chill out. Don't be like, oh, I need to love myself or no one's gonna love me or... I, I don't deserve love because I did this and that. Just chill out. I feel like I've said this enough, but we're all here. We're all here just trying, figuring it out, okay? We're all here just trying to, trying to find the way in this life. But your place is set. You don't need to find a way. You don't need to figure anything out. You are here for a reason. You just have to enjoy the whole process. You just have to be present be kind and just move with a clean heart just move with a with pure intentions and watch how everything unfolds by itself anyways that was all of the points that i wanted to share with you i just like wrote down what came to mind and the things that i like to do but there's so much more there's so much more i would love to, love to talk about and if you like content like this Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you you could learn from this video 
and write some things down and just like start to make yourself feel better because you deserve it okay you deserve it you're human you're alive you're here for the first time you're just figuring it out be kind to yourself love yourself and keep going don't give up on anything you deserve the best and you have to claim it and yeah so that's it and i'll see you next time